Hello guys, welcome to Statistics Bio 7. I am Dr. Mohanathanari. This channel fully focused on the bio statistics related video post on this channel. If you like this channel video, click to the subscription button and support me join to our channel membership. Let's go to the video. Now we are the discussion topic. How to calculate a man candle trend test in past statistical software. So the what is the man candle trend test? So the man candle trend test is a non-parametric statistical test used to, to identify trends in time series data. It is particularly useful when you need to assess whether there is an increasing or decreasing trend over the time without assuming any specific distributions for the data. The test is commonly applied in environmental science, hydrology and climatic research to detect trends in variables such as temperature, precipitation or pollutant concentration. So the man candle test evaluate the null hypothesis that there is no trend in the data. It is calculated the difference between each pair of observations in the time series based on the since of those difference a yeah, statistics s yes, is yeah, calculated which indicate the descript of the trends if s yes, is positive the trend is upward if s yes, is a yeah, negative the trend is downward the significance of the trend is determining use the candle dew confidence coefficients and a exit value especially when the sample size is large so next to go to the video tutorial section for the man candle trend test in past statistical software the man candle trend test the additional detail the post on the our blocker site please visit the our blocker site and the the tutorial source file upload for the our blocker site the blocker link mentioned to the description box so go to the video tutorial section the data already entered in the past statistical software we take the three variables the first one for the mean annual temperature annual precipitation and the average pollutant concentrations we take the total 15 years the 2009 to 2023 so the average mean value the man control test it is can it can only be calculated as a single content so the first calculate for the mean annual temperature in past statistical software for the man candle trend test so the select for the mean annual temperature column and go to the time series menu and select for the man candle trend test so the calculate for the man candle test in the annual temperature total the 15 years so the uh, test yield an s value for 103 with the standardized test statistics the exit value 5.0477 and the p value 4.4718 e power to the minus 7 the value less than 0 0.05 the annual mean temperature data revealed a statistically significant increasing trends so the statistically significant increasing trend in the s value for the positive value so the next one variable calculated for the annual precipitation so the close the window and select for the mean annual precipitation column then go to the time series next one calculate for the selected in the man candle trend test so the now calculate in the annual precipitation for the total 15 years the test result show a s value minus 93 and the z value minus 4.5528 and the p value 5.2932 e to the power minus 06 the value for the p value standard p value for 0 
the value p value indicated the 0 0.05 so the statistically significance the s value for the minus 93 so the statistically the decreasing the trend in annual precipitation total the 15 years so the next one calculate for the average pollutant concentration in total 15 years so select for the column and go to the time series and select the mean candle trend test so uh, calculate for the man candle trend test in average pollutant concentrations so the s value for the minus 105 and the EZ value minus 5.1467 and the P value 2.6516 e to the power minus 7. So the statistically significant because the P value less than 0 0.05 and the S value minus 105. So the statistically decreasing trend in the man candle trend test in the average pollutant concentrations. And the additional detail for the how to the write the result and the conclusion sections, the table format, the published in our blacker.com, the link mentioned to the description box on this video. Please visit for the our blacker site and follow to our blacker page. If you like this video, click to the subscription button and support to me by a super thanks or a join your channel membership. Thank you for watching this video.